Itaguini mayor feels the law is being used unfairly against her and this comes after her home was raided by the Hawks as well as the asset forfeiture unit today. Now this is all part of an investigation into alleged fraud and corruption in a waste management contract that cost more than 200 million rand. Our reporter Pamantla Koke spoke exclusively to Zanti Kumeda and joins us on the line of course with more. Pamantla, thank you for joining us. Now what was Kumeda's reaction when you spoke to her? Well, basically, she feels that she's been ill-treated. I think our viewers would recall that in the morning there was that confusion about the address as the Hawks and Asset for Future Unit members went to Umshanga, and that's where they started. They wanted to serve her. They wanted to meet up with her. She was not there. She was at Inanda. That's in the northern part of Deben. That's where she lives. So, And then after that, there were comments or there were claims that she might have violated her bail conditions because she provided that Umshang address as one of the addresses. But when I spoke to her a little while ago, she told me that she provided three addresses that includes Umshanga, Inanda, as well as Phoenix. So she says they could have called to identify or to check where she was in the morning. Let's listen to what she had to say. It's painful, but what can we do? The only thing that we can do is to comply if such things happen. But it's really, really painful because I wasn't aware I was sleeping and we did not have electricity because of wind and uh, rain. Um, in the morning, I was woken up by one of my daughters telling me that uh, there are hawks on, the hawks are on their way to my house at Inanda. As um, all of you know that uh, I'm having a house at, of, at Inanda. And then they came. Hey, I just want to say it is painful. I just want to say lies have got short legs. They came, they asked for Lamborghinis and everything that we're talking about, but only to find that uh, they saw my one car that is active that I'm using and um, two cars that are not um, active because I'm supposed to, one is by the mechanic and one is here. I don't have luxurious cars. Um, I'm poor as a church mouse, as you know. You are here, you have been here, you know my house, and there's nothing like that. That's why they had to go back empty handed. Now, Spamanda, there's further speculation that this might be politically motivated. Indeed, I think her supporters are holding that view and some people have raised questions about the timing and they are trying to link this to politics, saying not so long ago the ANC in Wazul Natal announced that all outstanding regional conferences, including Eteguini, the ANC's biggest region, they will be deferred or postponed to next year. She didn't want to be specific and link this to politics, but she did raise some serious questions. Let's listen to her explaining. Law is a law, but I feel that law must not be used against some members of the African National Congress. It is important that if we're having any differences, we sit down and talk about those differences, if there are any. For now, I feel so bad because this saga is happening in this space where we are going for this conference.